You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. John, are you sure you are telling me the truth? The absolute truth. What would I gain kidnapping Joe? You tell me. Because if I find out that you are behind this because you want to extort money from me, I will deal with you ruthlessly. I, I, I've told you that your daughter and I are no longer together. Josephine broke up with me a few weeks ago and ever since then I've not set my eyes on her. The more reason why you would abduct her. Tell me, John, if you have something to do with this, please just level up with me. Level up with me, otherwise I would so ruthlessly deal with you. Chief, Chief, there's no need for threats. Just like I told the police. I do not know anything about this. And believe me, I would not want to harm Joe no matter what. I hope so. I really hope so. I said, sit up! Don't make me repeat myself. Now to ensure that you understand everything that I'm teaching you, you will have to repeat after me when I say so. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Good. Today I will teach you a lesson in gratitude. And I want you to listen to me very carefully. You know, I once had the privilege. It's a privilege. Do you know what that means? It means that if you are privileged to be in a comfortable position, it is because out of some unexplained law of nature, it just happened to be you. It's not because you're sharper or smarter or better than oh, anybody else. Okay. Shut up! Don't interrupt me. Look, I will slap you real hard if you do that again. So you're born into this big, rich, comfortable family. It's not because you asked for it. You have to be grateful to God for it. So you're pretty. It's not because you asked for it. You have to be completed. Completed! Grateful to God for that. Good. I see you're learning fast. So. I'm so glad you're back. I never like it when we quarrel. Jess. Thank you. Well, Chief, you know I hate it too. I can never stay angry with you for too long. <laughs> no, Chief, I, I am worried, I am concerned about this Josephine's disappearance. Contrary to what you may think, I am. So, so talk to me. How far are the investigations? <laughs> the police have not come out with anything. No clues whatsoever. 
You know, sometimes I just wonder how my daughter will just disappear just like that. Where would she be? Where would she be now? And do you know, nobody has demanded for any ransom whatsoever. Well, Chief, I, I, I hope she's safe, you know, somewhere she's, that she's out of danger. I will leave no stone unturned until I find her. I'm sure we will, okay? I just pray and let the police do their work. We will find her, okay? My poor baby. I just wonder where she would be. Well, I, I hope you've come to take me out of here because I can't survive staying home all day. I brought you something to eat. One million naira, if you let me. Lesson number three. You cannot always have what you want. Money cannot buy you everything. I want to make a phone call. Hey, hey. Are you listening to me? As long as you are here, you cannot want something and have it. You have to earn it. I mean, you've always had everything you wanted in life. That's why you've turned out so... Oh, smart. please, you don't know anything about me, so stop being judgmental, all right? Okay. Eat your food, then. Lesson continues in one hour. JJ, JJ, come on. This, this is not a way to treat a lady. Lady? Yeah. You? you? Nah, I don't think so. But never mind. By the time I am done with you, you will become a perfect lady. Jay?
Yeah, Philip, what's up? I'm good. How was your weekend? Oh, great, great. Good. Look, don't worry about that, okay? I have it all figured out. Yeah, of course. No, you don't understand. Look, listen. By the time I'm done with her, you're going to have a brand new boss, you know, a completely changed person. In fact, you're going to thank me, you know, because after all this, you will be very happy working in the new ideas consult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. No, you don't have to panic, man. I'm not going to hurt her or anything like that. No, I just instill a few, you know, lessons in her. That's right. Yeah? Uh, don't worry about that. I'll be able to figure it out, okay? Yeah. I promise to respect life. You left out one word. I promise to always respect life. Girl, I promise to be sensitive to other people's plight. I promise to be sensitive to other people's plight. I promise to talk to people with respect. I promise to talk to people with respect. Good. That feels great, doesn't it? Look, I hope you're taking these lessons seriously because sometime in the future they will come in very handy. Then how long is this going to last? Because I am slowly losing it. Good night then. Think about the lessons you learned today. Jay, Jay, I, I need a duvet. I, I, I'm gonna fall sick with balls and mosquitoes flying around me. Jake, please. I, 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 I need a duvet. You want to shout down the house? No. I missed you. I don't want her to see you. What are you talking about? Exactly what you heard. On the road, just no, to go. No, no. I bet tell me where they go. Me, I know where to go. Charge you now. I don't know where 
Then just me will come up for here on the road and go tell you a bit. Nah, just carry nah, me. Okay. Bros, bros, this is my wife. Huh? I know not being wife, I beg. She just carry me come up for here. I I don't have time to talk. When do you intend to let me out of here? Because I need my cleansers, I need my cream, I need a change of clothes. That's exactly my point! That's exactly my point! Look at the kind of rubbish and inconsequential things that are important to you! You know what? You're just an overgrown daddy's girl who's used to getting well, everything she wants. I am not a daddy's girl. Did you say don't? Or else what? You fire me? Look, your father gives you everything that you want on a platter of gold. He's giving you a company to run. Wait, 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 wait. Am I being punished for being lucky? Oh, you just hit it on the head there. You hit the nail there. Because that's the word I was looking for. Luck! It's pure luck. Look, I did not ask to be born poor. But look at me. But then again, I deserve a right to live with dignity like everyone else. I cannot say that much for you. You must really hate me. Hate you? How I don't hate you? Why would I hate you? Huh? Why would I hate you? Look, come to think of it. I actually thought, no, I didn't think. You know, that I was attracted to you when I first saw you. God, because there's nothing to be attracted to. Well, 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 you said it before. You were more attracted to P than myself. So there's nothing new. You know, I'm sure by now your father is probably calling up the entire police force looking for you. Of course he is. And you bet your sorry ass is gonna know that you are the one behind this. So they'll do what? Make me sorry for messing with daddy's precious property? This little brat who's keeping the entire Luwales on their freaking rich toes right now. You know what? I'm glad I'm the one staring the behind. I'm glad that because of me, they're wondering about you. Wondering if you're dead or alive. I'm glad that for once, they have something to think about. Something to worry about. You have no right to treat me this way. Do you understand? If you don't like my life, that is your own bloody cup of tea. Alright? Well, if you think treating me this way is going to change anything about me, well, maybe you should think twice. And if you think I haven't had pain in my life, my mother died when I was 10. My dad doesn't give a shit about me, but he goes around town frolicking with young girls. And now he has fallen in love with my best friend and he intends to marry her. How do you think that makes me feel? I've had pains. I have been alone and I survived. I work very hard for my company and I pay people very well and I expect them to deliver without excuses. So if you want to go ahead and hate me, go on. Okay, because this is the only life I have known. You have no right to stand there and judge me because you don't know any goddamn thing about me. Where does that leave us now? Where? Am I supposed to believe that my daughter is dead? God forbid. No, sir. We're doing our best. But the problem there is that we don't know exactly where to start the search from. And we have questioned practically everybody that's got something to do with your daughter's kidnap. But the way it is, now we're not listen. getting something tangible. Now, now, you listen to me. And you listen to me real good. I gave your DP a lot of money to cover the search. And I just see that you people are not doing enough. You are supposed to go door to door looking for her. Three days now and she's not been found. You are not just doing enough. Sir, some of our boys are still around town searching. Chief, this town is large and your daughter could be anywhere. 
We've gone to the office. We've questioned our staff. But nobody seems to be coming out with a clue. Look, you go and find her. Send more of your men out to look for her. Find her! We'll do our best, sir. She is my only child. We'll do everything we can, sir. And um, if we get any more concrete information, we'll get it across to you, sir. Thank you. I hope, I hope they find her. They will. God will make a way for you. She will come back. They will. I'm positive that she will be found. Crying. I don't understand what's making you cry. In there with the bitch. Oh, that? That was nothing, man. She was crying. I felt like I should have pity on her. Really? 
So what has Pity got to do with the mission we have at hand? <laughs> you know what, Muriel? I'm suddenly thinking that maybe we're taking this thing too far. You know, yeah, I mean, besides losing our jobs for this crazy plan, I'm beginning to think like, you know, he's going too far, playing God and stuff, you know? We're definitely not going too far. This is a piece of cake compared to how mean she is. She deserves even worse. You really do hate her, don't you? I hate all she stands for. Well, I still think that we're taking it too far, you know? We're quitting our jobs anyway, and we've got nothing to lose. I've got to rush, I've got a couple of things to tidy up. Find you too. Even police they say they come here. Hey, forget they find you everywhere. Have you me travel? My Donna. No, I no travel. Um, then day house. Uh, the day, sir. All right. Thanks. Uh, welcome. I just need to take a bath right now. Chief, Josephine is back! Yeah. Viola! Where have you been? What happens to you? Dad, I am tired. I need to freshen up. But it's good to know that you've missed me. Look, I almost went crazy when we did not hear from you. Don't tell me that you did this purposely so that we would miss you. Of course not, Dad. I didn't. So who is behind this? Tell me who is behind this so that I can...
Come on, you can't be serious. Come on, I'm serious. You want to tell me you didn't see it? I didn't see it! You want me to describe it for you? Describe it. See, you didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> You're sure? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you, Mom. Where is Jake? Um, I... And where is Mary? Mary. Uh, Mary didn't come to me. Mm. Okay. Okay. I thought you'd have been gone by now. Boy, you are longer, so. Is she here? Yes, and I'm sure the police will be here anytime soon. So you had better scrap. Is she here? Yes, I'm sure the police will be here. Why did you even come in anyway? I had to come get my stuff, man. You know, I didn't think she was going to come in today, not after all that. Okay, I just came to tell you, Jabba. Hurry up. Going somewhere? I was to say thank you. Hey, shut your mouth before you fly. It flies in. You know, I could give you the boots. I could fire you. No. On the contrary, I just want to say I really admire your courage for doing what you did. You know, I took a lot of time to reflect on a lot of things. And you sort of saved me from myself. Uh, I don't understand that. I know, you thought I was going to dismiss you and Mary. But I had no intention of doing that. Like I said, you saved me. And thank you. Let 
life take you on a I know, but this can't wait. What are you doing here? The last time I checked, I still worked in this office. that for? For capturing my hat? <laughs> I'm as attracted to you as you are to me and I've been having this feeling for a long time. I didn't know how to come out to come to the terms of date my staff and exactly. Imagination is just running riot. I'm not in the mood for all this, okay? I am not imagining anything. I see the way you look at her, where you think there's no one looking. Something fishy is going on and I want to know about it. What are you talking about? What are you going on about? Huh? Look, besides, I don't even owe you any explanation for anything. We've been through this before. How many times do you want to go through this? Really? Anyway. I hope it's not what I'm thinking, Jay, because if it is, I will not forgive you. Hello, beautiful. Hi, sweetie. I'm good. But I'm better now that I've seen you. Mm. Guess what, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about going for lunch. Wanna come? What do you think? You know what? What? I'm glad that I have you in my life. Hmm. I'm glad also.
Believe me, she has changed. I can clearly see that. <laughs> well, all thanks to Jake. And me too. I was part of the plan. You chickened out, remember? What plan? Yeah, yeah, I did. But really, it was Jake. I mean, the woman had a thing for him all this while, and that's why his plan worked. If not, forget it. You two would have been in jail by now. Wait, wait, uh, hold on. What are you guys talking about? And so, what makes you think she had a thing for Jake? So, you mean you don't know what has been going down in this office? Huh? What are you talking about? So, you really don't know? Know what? I'm surprised you don't know. I mean, it's all over the grapevine. Madam came to work that first day. Jake was in his office trying to pack his stuff. I mean, we were all afraid the police was going to arrive any minute. And when she entered our office, we were expecting to hear her voice. <laughs> of course, we heard her voice, all right. That is telling Jake how much she loves him. What? <laughs> if you see the kissing, eh? If you see the kissing, no get back to I think Jake has been having, has been shadowing that babe all along. That son of a good. What's up, guys? Hey, Jake, my man, what's up? You big! Ah, so you planned it all along? You planned to kidnap her so you can make her fall in love with you? Kidnap? Jake! Look, Mary, don't start, okay? What happens to me now? What happens to us, Jake? Us? <laughs> Jake, my man, it's like you're the only happening guy in this office. Habba, Mary too? Look, Mary, this is an office, okay? I don't want a scene here. Oh, you don't want a scene? You don't want a scene? Then you should have thought of that before playing smart. You think you can fool every babe in this office? Who the hell do you think you are anyway? Excuse me, man. Why are you overreacting? Excuse me? What is going on here? Why don't you ask Mr. Loverboy who thinks he can sleep with every woman in this office? What are you talking about? Jake is in a better position to explain it to you. Jake. Let me see you in the office, please. And you too. Go back to work. You know, so that's the story in a nutshell. And you expect me to believe that? Yes, because it's nothing but the truth. Look, this is what happened between Mary and myself. It's not like I'm proud of it, but it just happened. I'm sorry. You must think I'm a fool, right? <sighs> Look, Joe, we don't have to quarrel over this thing. Okay, it's not like I planned any of these things. I love you. Uh, well, I just thank that this thing happened and, you know, I get to know exactly who you are. So let's just call it quit for now, okay? What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what you heard. What, so you want to call it quits because of this little incident? Jake, I have a lot of work to do, so if you don't mind. Hey, come here. Don't you ever, I repeat, ever do that again. Okay, okay, fine, you're boss. Alright? But when we decided to be together, we took this relationship to a whole new level. So it's cool for you to be boss, I mean, when it's absolutely necessary, and I understand that. But when we're talking in our capacity as lovers, don't do that. Don't turn your back on me. You think I'm still in that your little prison where you can do whatever you want to me, right? Is that what you think? Okay, so I know we're no longer in my little prison. Yeah. But we're still in some kind of prison, you know. We're in a prison of love. You know, I just want to show you what you mean for me. Is that all? You think this is going to change anything? I've heard better kisses. So if you don't mind, go back to your work. You know. 
Lillian has agreed to marry me. And we are planning a Christmas wedding. What do you think? Wow. That's perfect. Congratulations, Lillian. Well, thank you, Joe. And I promise to make your dad the happiest man on this planet. I have no doubt that you will. Um, I just have to use this opportunity to really apologize for all my nasty behavior towards your relationship. It's just that I couldn't understand or reconcile the idea of my dad with my best friend. Perfectly understandable. I mean, you were just trying to protect him. Joe, in your shoes, I will do worse. But, thank you, this, 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 this means a lot to me. I hope you're gonna take care of him. Joe, I will. Thank you, thank you for this. Let yourself go, spread your wings and fly. Taking charge of all that comes your way. Let yourself go. Spread your wings and fly. Let passion take you to a place unknown. Let yourself go. Spread your wings and fly. Why are you ignoring my calls? I've been calling you since yesterday. Just feel the one I'm talking to you. Listen, I don't want to cause a scene here, okay? Just leave me alone. No, I won't. I need you to listen to me. Now you listen to me. Just stay away from me, okay? Or else I'm going to press charges for kidnapping me. I should have done that a long time ago. I don't know what came over me. I guess I fell for your stupid charms. And I see if that is not enough. I allowed you and your girlfriend to work in my company after the atrocities you've committed. So what more do you want from me? Look, I just want you to stop jumping to conclusions and listen to the truth. Are you capable of telling the truth? Of course, and I'm telling you the truth now. Oh. I love you. Look, don't throw away a good thing just because of stubborn pride. Oh, whatever. the meaning of all this? Are you going crazy? Are you just realizing that? Yes, I'm crazy about you. Oh, now I've had about as much as I can stomach of you, okay? Just get off my table. And what are you going to do if I don't? Now listen to me, Jake. You were wrong to have messed with me. I intend to have you whether you like it or not. 
I will not let any Joe, whatever she calls herself, to stand in my way. I am going to eliminate whoever stands in my way. You're my mind, Jake. And no Jupiter can stop that. You know, now I think you're really going mad. Just, look, just get out of my office. <laughs> Kidnap is child's play compared to the lesson I am going to teach any husband snatcher who tries to snatch my husband. You know, I think Joe has to do something about your attitude now, okay? Because, I mean, this is not ordinary anymore. This is getting out of hand. I doubt if she's in the right position to do anything about anyone right now. That pompous switch has gotten exactly what she deserves. What do you mean by that? Have you seen, um, Ben, have you seen Mary? Where is Mary? Happened to her? Well, we have reason to believe she was poisoned. And it's a good thing you did. I brought her in here quickly. Otherwise, she wouldn't have survived it. Can we see her now? No. I suggest she needs some rest. And I suggest you go home and come back later. She'll be fine in a couple of days.
wished to watch you someday playing with these toys like other children. I had so long waited to bathe you with warm water and nourish your skin with precious cream. You did not even taste the milk of your mother's breast. God, why? What have I done to deserve all these? <laughs> <laughs> 